And I bet you're wondering, why are you playing this trailer in the back? And that's because today we're going to talk about everything that we know about the live event. So I hope you enjoy this video, guys. Let's get into it because we have a lot. Okay, starting off, I want to recap the storyline a little bit. So the seven are searching for parts to repair the mech. Yes, the same mech from season nine. Sloan's doomsday device is threatening all of existence inside of the loop. We'll talk about that more here in a second. And the sister's IO files have been deleted by Gino, which we have more IO data here in a little bit as well. And lastly, we'll probably be piloting the mech alongside paradigm that's whether or not paradigm actually shows up and wants to pilot the mech with us we'll just have to find that out when the live event actually happens with the storyline stuff out of the way we're all caught up the origin has actually been doing some testing over in one of the seven outposts He's been testing the doomsday device in a bunch of simulation modes. And according to him, everything in the loop is going to be destroyed if we do not stop this doomsday device. I guess we could have kind of figured anyway from a device called doomsday. I'm just saying. He states he won't watch another world in that we are going to win this, which I hope he's right. We also have this from one of the quest lines you can see that when this thing completely powers up, it's just going to absolutely destroy everything. It's going to let off a big explosion energy blast, and it's it's just not going to be pretty for anybody inside the loop. I hope we don't find out, though, is, is all I'm saying. We've only known the loop for like five years. Be crazy to see it actually gone. But that's not the only thing that we have to worry about because Jonesy actually mentions along in another quest line that if we live through this, let's just leave the part where we lose the giant, giant enemy, enemy fortress, fortress out, out of, the of the history books. books. Now, this is kind of interesting, honestly. We know the fortress. It's the giant drill on the map right now over by Covert Canyon. It was kind of stationary where it was at. Maybe it broke down when it came out. I don't know. Like, I'm sure it takes gas, something to make it move. It is going to move. We just don't know when. I don't know how Jonesy knows, honestly. And I'll talk about how we know it's going to move later on in the video, but it will be moving during the live event. And that's scary to think about giant drill moving around and we have to stop this doomsday device all at the same time this event file is 700 megabytes this is literally the biggest event that we have ever had i will have the live event up on my channel probably same day right after the event goes live but before we get to talking about more event stuff i want to talk about the item shop real quick because we actually have a new paradigm skin that's coming to the game and if i had to take a guess this is going to be coming to the game around the same time as the event maybe like a little bit before the event maybe shortly after the event we also have the seven mecha team leader skins coming to the shop as well. We have green, orange, pink, and robots. Really cool. I'm going to be picking them up for sure because who knows? They might just be like a limited edition kind of cosmetic where they release it right now, right before the event. Additionally, before we move on from the item shop, we should see these item shop backgrounds as well, along with paradigm but let's get into the interesting stuff now as of recording this video we don't have a countdown for the event just yet but when we do this is the exact location where the event countdown will be at and we should have a banner in the sky that looks like this as well at that location to kind of count down for the event. Pretty cool. You know, we've seen stuff like that in the past though, so not too interesting, but it's a, it's a different design this time. That spot on the map is definitely where we will be at when we load into the event. So definitely expect to be in that area during the event. The event countdown should appear any day now because it is about 10, 11 days away from the event as I'm recording this video. As it goes live, it's probably already in game. You probably already know about it. That's just how it has to be sometimes. The Doomsday device actually just had its fifth pulse today. That thing looks like it can do some major damage. And if you look closely, 
there's one notch that's lit up if this happens this means it's fully charged and that means it's game over there is no respawning okay we are dead nighty night some might say speaking of nighty night 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 has been re-added to the game files for this live event and for those that do not know what night night is night night is the thing that activates the to be continued in blank season slash black hole screen who knows how long it could be 12 hours 24 hours 72 hours so the io actually has data regarding these characters right the foundation his file says located in sanctuary do not approach the origin active on field eliminate on site the paradigm unknown status capture or eliminate and of course, the sisters, there's no file. We don't really know why Gino has deleted the sisters files. The sisters also have like amnesia and don't really remember who they are, what their past has been, which, you know, brings up a bunch of questions, which I doubt will get answered for quite some time. But we assume that Gino is the leader of the IO and the sisters are his daughters. And that's why he deleted the files because he doesn't want them to find out or anyone to find out that he is blood related because that could cause some kind of weakness in the whole IO system or something. Okay, so this is the part of the video where we're going to have some massive spoilers i will give you three seconds click off the video but first leave a like hit the subscribe button that'd be awesome so everybody who doesn't want to know spoilers they're gone if you're here you're gonna hear spoilers right now all right we actually do have some character dialogue and those characters being paradigm origin foundation sloan and computer which we've kind of heard what the computer is going to sound like we can kind of hear him go, you know, battle stations, get to battle stations. We don't really know what paradigm is going to sound like. We haven't heard her speak yet. We've heard the foundation speak. We've heard the origin speak and we've heard Sloan speak, whether it's from quest lines or live events, either one. We've all heard them speak, but we haven't heard paradigm speak. I'll go ahead and replay that trailer. It's really short anyway. Welcome back. So, but see, that's not even the exciting part. The exciting part is something that we've really never seen before when it comes to live events. And that's as we load into the live event, we're going to have a special animation happen. Instead of just loading in like we normally do, we kind of just like, you know, drop down into a portal. So as we already know, or as y'all already know, because it's right there on the lobby screen, you see the mech being rebuilt in the background. We assume on the moon and that you would be correct. We are going to the moon. That mech right there, we are going to be piloting. In the event files, we have moon montage, pause, play, resume, moon pod, enter, and moon pod, exit, and then moon stasis in. That is all in the event file. So there's going to be some point that we go to the moon, we get into a moon pod, whether that's to get there. I figure it's going to be coming back though. We also have this like map mesh that was found in the files and no one really knew exactly what it was going to be for. And my theory is that while we are in that moon pod, we're going to look out the window and we're going to look down and we're going to see our map. I know this is just a mesh. It's probably going to look a lot better than that. Along with that, we have six phases. Now, I don't know what those six phases are going to be. I have no idea even to speculate what these six phases could be. I don't know if it's, you know, phase one, us going to the moon, phase two, us coming back. If it's, you know, phase one of the doomsday device, phase two of the doomsday device. And these tags are actually after the moon tags, right? So I figure these are going to be kind of in order on how they happen in the live event, if I had to take a guess. And if you thought that was it, you'd be wrong because we also have five waves in the files as well. I figure these are just going to be, you know, Sloan sending in, you know, her armies, tanks, 
choppers in for us to fight because it's unload wave one, unload wave two, you know, so on, so forth through five, right? And then we have viewport, war, WE, weapon swap. So we're probably going to be swapping weapons during the live event while we're fighting the unload waves of io soldiers mercenaries and whatnot but if you take a close look at that very last one it says zp but there's only one thing that comes to mind when i see zp in fortnite and that's zero point i've got something to show y'all this is our map this is where the event is supposed to be taking place. This is the chapter one map, Loot Lake. On the chapter one map, you've got a river going out, you've got a river coming down, and you've got like the dock or whatever on the left side. But what you gotta keep in mind is we're on the flip side, a flipped mirrored image of our map. But you can see that it actually lines up pretty well. Where the uh, collider is, is where the zero point is. The collider on our map is on top of the zero point. That's why they've built the dam there, dried up the water, so that way the collider can get better access to the zero point, getting the energy from the zero point to charge up this doomsday device the zero point is going to be exposed. It's going to be unstable, if not completely destroyed by the end of the live event. I mean, even if we do end up destroying the doomsday device, the zero point is going to be in shambles. It's going to be a very, very interesting to see what happens. And before we head out, okay, I have one more, one more thing, okay? One more thing, and that's this this little tweet here from Donald Mustard. He posted this September 12th, 2021, during Chapter 2, Season 7. He says, I'm ultra biased, but I've been so excited about getting to Chapter 2, Season 7 for like a long time. I hope you loved it. Chapter 2, Season 8, and the two after it are maybe my very favorite parts. Well, until that one thing, can't decide. I love it all. Can't wait for you to experience all of it as well. We've passed chapter two, season eight, and the two after it, we are in chapter three, season two. They're his favorite parts until that one thing, which will be this live event. It's going to be crazy. Easy, don't click off just yet. I've got 20 seconds worth of event sounds. I'll see you guys in the next video. I hope you enjoyed. Hit that like button, subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys in the next one, all right? Bye.